What up, what up, what up? It's the PAC man. All things physician associate. And in this video, I want to talk to you guys about what to do as you're knocking out your prereqs, man. So let's say you decided to pursue the PA profession and and uh, you're, you're tackling those prereqs. My recommendation is even if you plan on applying to a bunch of programs in your state or in the country, that's awesome. That'll increase the chances of getting in. But additionally, head down to your local school that offers the PA program and speak to them. Uh, most programs, if not all, have a liaison that's specifically there to help facilitate the admissions process of the program. These people know the recipe. They know exactly what the program's looking for. Uh, so you can go down there and say, hey man, like I'm trying to get into this program. Man. Uh, how do I look on paper? And that I, you know, I remember when I sat down to my at my school, uh, and I and I found out that there a, a liaison even existed, and I sat down and I spoke with her and her assistant, and they were phenomenal, man. I must have been down there every semester after I found out they existed. I was down there every semester and said, "How do I look now? How do I look now?" And uh, and they probably got tired of seeing my face, but hey, man. I remember when I got into the program and they saw me in the hallway and they're like, hey, you got in. And I was like, yeah, thank you guys so much, man. It was, you know, I really do appreciate all your help. It made it, was, it made a world of a difference. And uh, But they're very good, man. They know the recipe. They know exactly what the program needs. So, so I remember they were like, hey, let me see your resume. And they're like, okay, so, you know, we recommend you do this, you shadow get this amount of hours and then they're like let me see your uh, prereq so far and they're like okay we recommend you retake this class because you got a C. I i retook it and you know got an a they're like okay came back next semester like look i got an a that like much much better that brought your science gpa up okay uh we recommend you take this class it's not listed as a prereq but it looks amazing on uh, uh, like our, whenever we see our candidates who've taken this class you know It was like an intro to healthcare course, and uh, it's not required if you have healthcare experience. But they're like, just take it anyway. We we look for people who've taken this class because it's like a primer, like it, it's it's like um, what do they call it? Like a pre-matriculation course, a course that really gets you prepared uh, for understanding like what the healthcare is like and what have you. I remember I was like, all right, I'm just gonna do it, and uh, all that stuff helped, man. And um, so that's my recommendation in this video, man. Don't don't hesitate to check out your local school, even if you don't plan on applying to that program. Most programs, for the most part, have the same recipe. Uh, meaning, if you were gonna make a chocolate chip cookie, all chocolate chip cookies, for the most part, call for the same base ingredients. Now you could switch up a few things, more or less chocolate chips and you can bake it a little longer if you want it crisp like crunchy or a little less if you want it chewy but for the most part the base ingredients are the same right and the, the same calls for the PA program it's all based on what the what the uh, accrediting bodies want like ARC PA and KHEP these are accreditation uh, that that essentially govern PA programs nationwide. So you had to kind of follow their guidelines as to what qualifies to be a PA student. And uh, and then they can add a few more or, or remove a, you know, here and there, they could tweak the recipe a little bit, but for the most part, they're all following the same uh, accreditation recipe, man. So you can go down to any PA program and learn what is it exactly that they're looking for? And really, when you keep tweaking your your package, right, your application to to mirror what they're looking for, when they open it, they're like, "Well, okay, well, we got 50 seats, uh, you know, for you know, we have 50 available seats. This candidate for sure makes the list. Let's interview them." Oh. And then, uh, and so you know, guarantee yourself the opportunity, increase the opp increase the chance to get the opportunity to interview, man. And uh, so I guess I'll be making uh, more videos uh, coming 
up on the interview process and and uh, in some programs not all programs have a like an admissions test i'll kind of my school had it, so I'll speak a little bit on that and what to expect off of that and how to study for that and what have you, man. But either way, man, I hope this video reaches who it needs to reach, man. Much love and happy Monday.